Okay. Good morning, students. In the last class, we have discussed about nitrogen and the carbon dioxide. And also, what are the uses of the nitrogen? Yes, sir. So today, I will start. One of the most important that is what dust and smoke. Dust and smoke. See, in our surroundings, dust particles, in our surroundings, smoke are there. But we can't see sometimes. We can't see the naked eyes. See, the burning of the fuels also produces the smokes. The burning of the fuels. Burning of the females also produces the smoke. And also, we can see some dry habits. At that time, also, we observe the smokes. Yes, sir. And also, we can see in the village. In the village. In the kitchen room, we can see the smoke. In the tank burning the wood. Yes or no? The burning the wood in the tank you can see the, the smoke. And also some factories release the smoke. Yes or no? It is very harmful to the living things. It is very harmful to the living things. The second is means the burning of the fuels also produces the smokes and also the smoke contain few gases. The smoke the contain few gases and find dust particles and is often harmful. It is often harmful. I already told when you pass in front of factories and the industries the time automatically close your door. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Due to the reasons of the bad smoke and bad smells. When you go to the village, your time was struggling for the respiration purpose in the kitchen. How did you only? You will have no problem. 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 So, 
It means you can see in the red and white color combination, long chimneys. So in the factories, so this takes the harmful smokes. This takes the harmful smoke and the gases. And the gases away from our nose. Away from our nose. It is very harmful the smokes. So it's affect to the animals as well as human beings. As well as human beings. Shining 
particles can see some tiny shiny particles moving in the beam of a sunlight moving in the beam of a sunlight the time we can observe the shiny particles it is one of the dust can see in the village ಈ ಹಂಚಿನ ಮನೆಗಳು ಅಂತ ಇರ್ತಾವ ಯಾವ ಮನೆಗಳು ಹಂಚಿನ ಮನೆ ಹಂಚಿನ ಮನೆಗೆ ಬೆಳಕಿಂಡಿ ಅಂತ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಏನಿರ್ತದ ಬೆಳಕಿಂಡಿ ಆ ಬೆಳಕಿಂಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಸೂರ್ಯನ ಬೆಳಕಿದ್ದಾಗ ಬೆಳಕಿಂಡಿಯನ್ನು ತೆಗೆದಾಗ ಬೆಳಕಿಂಡಿ ಪೂರ್ತಿ ಬಂದಿರುವಂತ ನೆಲಕ್ಕ ತಾಪದ ಆ ನೆಲದಿಂದ ಆ ಬೆಳಕಿಂಡಿ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಟು ಅನದರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ 
the various dust particles are present. The compare with one time to another time, the various particles are present. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. We inhale an air when we breathe it through our nose. Nostrils, fine hairs and the mucus are present inside the nose to prevent dust particles from getting into the respiratory system. It's so wonderful. It's a wonderful. Listen to the stress. We inhale the air when we breathe through our nostrils. When you take the oxygen, when you take the oxygen, when we inhale air, when we breathe through our nostrils, our nostrils will find hairs. You can see the fine hairs in our nose. Yes or no? You can see the fine hairs in your nose and the mucus. Do you know what you mucus? What do you mean by mucus? Yes or no? Yes, the mucus are uh, present inside the nose. Are present inside the nose. In your nose, a fine hairs are there. And also, mucus are there. In the Kannada, we can see the Sumbala. Yes or no? Yes. You can see, when we inhale air, when we breathe through our nostrils, fine hairs. Yes or no? Yes. And the mucus, there are the mucus already, yes or no? Are present inside the nose. Are present inside the nose to prevent. To prevent dust particles from getting into the respiratory system. So these are the prevents. These are the known to prevent the dust particles. From the getting into the respiratory systems. And the dust particles are coming near the nose. That time you take the breath. But that dust particles not enter your, enter your nose. That time the hairs are stopped. That the dust particles or other maybe the mucus, the sumbala, that is also a prevent that. In Mamogi Nelly Ruanta, a Kuda Ragli, Atma, is Sumbala Ruta, Rondo, Vasto Ragli, Timana Mula, he was the Dudina Kanagarana, Tadi Hidita. Understand? Okay. Okay, as friends.
only a small amount of carbon dioxide is present in the air and also and many other gases also some other gases also present in the air and also water vapors and also water vapors are present in the air as you have seen in maybe nitrogen is there what nitrogen is there and also oxygen is there we can see in the air carbon dioxide is there water vapors are there and also other gases are there in the maybe nitrogen is there and also oxygen is also Oxygen is also the thing. So, as the gases in the air are mainly nitrogen and the oxygen. Nitrogen and the oxygen these are the main gases present in the air. Present in the air and the small amount of carbon dioxide. The small amount of the carbon dioxide is also present and also many other gases. So many other gases. These are only gases: nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide. Understand? We see that air contains mostly nitrogen and oxygen. We see that air contains mainly, means mostly nitrogen and oxygen. So these two gases together to make up of Ninety-nine percent is of a. How much only? Ninety-nine percent. We see that the air contains mostly nitrogen. Seventy-eight percent. Okay, and the oxygen. Twenty-one percent. Okay. These two gases together, these two gases together make of ninety nine percent of the air. So how much? Twenty one percent is of nitrogen plus seventy eight percent is of nitrogen and twenty one percent is of oxygen. Seventy eight percent is of the nitrogen. So totally ninety nine percent. So remaining two percent is see. Uh, The remaining one percent is of a concentrated by the carbon dioxide and a few other gases and the water vapors and the water vapors in the whole hundred percent percent is in the air. The twenty one percent is of the oxygen is there and seventy eight percent is nitrogen is there. So both are combined to form ninety nine percent is of the in air. And the other is the air. Okay, remains one percent is. That is what carbon dioxide, water vapors, and other gases, and other gases. So totally, we mainly conclude that air contains the some gases and the water vapors and as usual dust particles. So oxygen is present in twenty one percent is in the. Atmosphere and the nitrogen, which is present in the seventy-eight percent, is and the carbon dioxide and the water vapors and the other gases present in the one percent. All of you understand? So both the contents of mostly nitrogen and oxygen, these two gases together to make up of ninety-nine percent is of air. So remaining one percent is is the straight. The carbon dioxide and the water vapors and other gases and other gases. Okay, I'll continue next class. Thank you.